And Shotzi taking out Dakota Kai! Wait a minute! What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, Damage Control came out, and uh, Bailey was getting ready for a match with uh, Raquel Rodriguez. And um, so, basically, um, when the Damage Control came out, Dakota Kai and EO Sky, um, they are now able to. Uh, JoJo Siwa was there as well. Uh, they appointed out ringside. Um, and they said that they have the power to be on both shows, uh, especially now that they had the titles. So they were already on both shows before, <laughs> but they had to put the, you know, the power They're They're from the raw roster, but they're able to be on SmackDown whenever they want. So that's when Raquel Rodriguez came on, called them bullies. And then that's when they had to match, uh, Bailey versus Raquel Rodriguez. And so let me go over that real quick. How it ended so Rodriguez went to the middle rope, but uh, EO Sky climbed onto the apron. This was a key moment in the match because Rodriguez swatted Sky off the apron and then pulled uh, Dakota Kai inside the ring and slammed her onto Bailey. Rodriguez before that, an elbow drop from the middle rope onto both women. This whole match looked this so illegal, by the way. Like, there was so many illegal things done in this match. I'm like, how are they getting away with this stuff? Rodriguez picked up Bailey, but Sky raked her eyes while the referee was caught. Caught up in clearing uh, Kai from the ring. Bailey hit the rose plant on Rodriguez, and that was all she wrote. Then pinned her one, two, three. So, uh, definitely with the help from Damage Control, she was able to uh, beat Raquel Rodriguez. So, what was interesting about this is Raquel Rodriguez got beat by Damage Control twice in one week. <laughs> you know, tag team and solo. Uh, so, not a good week for Raquel Rodriguez, but very interesting. Uh, babyface turn here. Shotzi, who was a heel, came out to save Rodriguez. So it looks like uh, Shotzi is going to be a babyface. Um, and remember, she, when she was a babyface in NXT, she was very over. And I think she lost some of that when that that was one of the like I'm usually for heel turns and stuff like this, but this was one of the ones that just did not work out for Shotzi. I think Shotzi is probably a little bit better as a babyface. If she could get some of that, the some of the writing that she got and the booking that she got on NXT, it might work for her. So we'll see what happens next um, with this. It'll probably be Shotzi teaming up with Raquel Rodriguez, while Leah Leah probably is out for a little bit. So I'm thinking that's what's happening here. But uh, Damage Control once again looking strong this week. That's a, that's a good thing. They look strong. They're winning their matches now. We're on the road, so Bailey probably facing Bianca Belair for the title, um, for the strap. So we'll see what happens, man. But uh, I'm going ahead to get this video a like, man. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, especially if you're new in the zoo. Any comments you got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the super thanks button below. I much appreciate it. So very interesting with Shotzi turning babyface. Um, very interested to see how she's going to be booked. Now that she's a face now. And again, uh, damage control looking very strong. I'm glad Bailey got the win here. And uh, we see how dangerous they are when they're ringside because in this match, like, it was probably an either way match. But with them being out there, the Cold Guy and EO Sky being able to interrupt at any time, you know, it's hard to beat them. So, Bianca, you got your, you got your hands full, bro. And uh, I do want to see when they, uh, between Kai and Sky, when they defend those tag team times, who is going to be against it. Will it be Rodriguez and Shotzi? You know, we'll see. Well, thank you guys for watching. After news, still like.